This week we are concentrating on fear. Today is uh, Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. And we're not concentrating on it so our fear will grow. We're concentrating on how we deal with fear particularly. I'd like to read a portion of scripture out of Luke chapter 8, verses 49 through 56. While he was still speaking, someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him, your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him saying, do not be afraid. Only believe, and she will be made well. When he came into the house, he permitted no one to go in except Peter, James, and John, and the father and mother of the girl. Now all wept and mourned for her, but he said, Do not weep. She is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. But he put them all out, took her by the hand, and called, saying, Little girl, arise. Then her spirit returned and she arose immediately and he commanded that she be given something to eat and her parents were astonished, but he charged them to tell no one what had happened. Here's the key verse. 50th verse, the second part, do not be afraid, only believe and she will be made well. Now you've just been told your daughter is dead. I have no way to understand or comprehend the human emotion that follows that comment. Evidently, the daughter had been sick and Jairus had come to see Jesus for he had heard he could heal the sick. But one of Jairus' household approaches him while he's speaking to Jesus and tells him, do not trouble the master, your daughter is dead. In that one instant, the, instant, the very thing you feared has come to pass and at least a wave of panic hits your soul. But Jesus is on this scene and he understands exactly human emotion and he speaks directly to the fear that Jairus must have. And he says, Jairus, do not be afraid. Only believe and she will be made well. We don't have any record of his response. So I'm assuming from the lack of any conversation about it, he trusted what Jesus said. How many times and in how many circumstances have you and I needed to hear these words? Do not be afraid. Only believe and all will be well. Do not fear, only believe. Do you need to hear them right now? Let these words breathe life into your spirit. Let faith arise in your soul today. The son of God has come with healing in his wings. His words are the words of the father God. See, he only speaks what he hears the father saying and he only does what he sees the father doing. So he tells the mourners, the child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed in the scorn. She is dead. All is lost. It is over. What do you mean she sleeps? But like the woman with the issue of blood, Jairus had been told to believe. And though the scriptures don't report his response, I believe his faith in Christ caused him to obey Christ's command, and he did believe. I call myself and everyone watching this video to simply believe. Believe that Jesus is able to do the impossible. Believe that he is God and with God, nothing is impossible. Fear go, faith arise. Trust in God with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Isn't that at least a part of what assisted fear arriving, uh, or faith arising at this scene? Eyes on Jesus now. Huh. See, when we... We hit one of those roadblocks in our life and it may not be sickness, it could be anything else. I think Jesus is saying to us, huh, fear not, fear not less, only believe. And Jesus took the girl by the hand and called saying, little girl, arise. She did. <laughs> see, you are arising right now out of your fear. You see the hand of Almighty God touching you and you're arising from that bed of fear and faith proceeding to do all that God has planned and called you to do. See, believing in Jesus Christ is to trust him, be certain of and have confidence in what he has spoken. We need, I need to trust and accept as true the words of Jesus Christ. You know, we do this with so many other people. They say something and we believe it. We just swallow it hook, line, and sinker. Somebody writes a column somewhere or posts something on social media and they, they tweet something out and we believe it. We just believe it. We accept it. But when it comes to the supernatural, 
to God doing the impossible, to God healing the sick, to God removing the obstacles in our life. Well, many times our fear is bigger than our faith and we just can't see it happening. But God has spoken. God has spoken. Jairus, do not be afraid. Only believe and she will be made well. So since God has spoken, let's just go ahead and believe. I need to ask you, what do you need to believe for right now? Go ahead and trust God for the answer. Let faith arise and let fear be de demolished. Father, I don't know what it is. All the people who will be watching this video need to have faith about. But may they trust your words. May you give them a word for their situation. May it be from you. And may they trust what you've told them. And may they cling to it above anything anyone else says. I believe for this for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's believe and God will do what only he can do. Have a blessed day.